When Michigan shot down last year due to COVID, Governor Whitmer quickly extended and improved unemployment benefits in our state. But more than a year later, people are still having daily issues with the UIA. At the start, the governor extended benefits for 26 weeks and also made it so employers were not charged for benefits if an executive order closed their business. Despite those changes, though, there are thousands who are still waiting for their money. Behind the walls of the state capitol in Lansing, lawmakers are looking for a solution. What can they do to help fix Michigan's unemployment insurance agency and get qualified claimants their money? We're all in agreement that if someone is entitled to those claims, they shouldn't have to go through the types of hoops that they're having to go through right now. At one point, retirees were brought back to help. Those workers who knew what they were doing reduced the time it took for claims to be fulfilled. However, that time period has expired. And as House Democrats, we've introduced bills and amendments to bills to allow those retirees to continue working, to continue helping us. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to get those amendments taken up in committee or those bills passed. Republican State Representative Steve Johnson and Democratic House Caucus Leader Donna Lisinski both say more needs to be done. Their offices have been flooded with calls and emails asking for help. Constituents facing hardships, losing their cars and homes, unable to pay their bills, and maxing out their credit cards, all because they have not received their benefits. Rep Johnson is on the House Oversight Committee and has questioned the agency multiple times. There's no way I thought a year ago we'd still be dealing with this. Uh, they've had plenty of times to get their systems in order, to get their processes figured out, and it just doesn't seem like they've done that yet. We clearly are not there yet. There is still too much of a backlog. There are too many people who are waiting for their benefits. There are too many people who have decisions outstanding who have received a notice in the mail that is scary and that is frightening. I have reported extensively on that major backlog. The system has been overloaded for 14 months, and there are not enough workers to handle the claims. There's also the fraud. All of those combined are slowing down the system. Plus, there are still people filing who might not even qualify. Anybody can apply for unemployment. The question is, are you eligible for unemployment? Fox 17 talked with UIA Interim Director Lisa Eshlin Olson back in March. More than 2.3 million Michiganders have been eligible for benefits, she said. Some have very complex cases, but they all have to meet certain requirements by the U.S. Department of Labor and the Michigan Employment Security Act. Potentially tens of thousands do not. Regardless of what people think is our staff is very much focused on paying people what is owed to them if they're eligible. And so um, we take that to heart. We take it to heart every day. We have people, we are uh, requiring mandatory overtime of all of our staff to get through this workload. But those employees are only working over the phone and claimants tell us they cannot get through or the person on the other end just tells them to keep checking their account and be patient. Both Johnson and Lisinski believe opening the UIA offices would help. So many of my constituents, they say if they could just go in and talk to someone in person, they could probably get their issue resolved in a matter of minutes. And so I'm hopeful that as we hit these COVID marks, 55, 60, and then finally 70%, that we will be able to provide the full breadth of services safely for everyone to make sure that folks are getting what they need. The agency's added new employees by the hundreds. Training's been accelerated to get them up to speed. And the goal now is to update the software so there are fewer delays. Lisinski tells Fox 17 to do that, both parties need to work together. My members have been proposing for months now additional funding, have been gathering information from UIA, have been having weekly calls, raising the alarm. They simply have not been taken up in committee. They have been voted down as amendments and they have not been allowed to have a vote on the floor. Rev. Johnson says that he is okay giving the UIA more money. He just wants it tied to the offices opening back up. Lisinski says as legislators, they won't be satisfied until the very last UIA case is closed. I did reach out to the agency for this story, but never heard back. If you know of a person or group helping others get back on their feet during this pandemic, let us know. You can call 447 5116 or just send an email to rebound at fox17online.com.